Ohio Tube Thunderblade in the area. <laughs> check, check this place out. Yeah, that's that's a speed track right here, okay? That's really new here in my city. I'm really, really, uh, really happy about it. And I figured it would be a good place to get some vlog going. Okay, so what happened to me? Uh, first of all, guys, really sorry f uh, for taking a while to upload again. Uh, I've been kind of struggling around here. I mean, financially. So it, it's been hard to work and figure out how to make videos again. So I'm... I promise you guys I'm going to make more videos right now. Right now I am on level 2. It's around 15 km an hour, so it's like leisure pace. I don't have to worry about falling because it's really slow. There's no one actually skating here at the, the track right now, so I'm not, I'm not in the way of anyone. And um, Okay, so what happened? I got the prototype done and I actually went to a few, how do you say, um, these startup guys uh, meetings, right? And uh, I've met some people, some people were like very excited about the whole project. But uh, right here in Brazil, it's really so hard to get some financing going, really hard to get some money. And uh, anyway, a lot of people really excited about the project. And, uh, but uh, that's, that's about it, right? It's not, it's not like, it's not like I got anyone to actually send money <laughs> towards Thunderblade. So what I'm going to do from here onward, okay? I'm keep making videos. I will definitely make a few more tutorials about how to build electric in landscape. And I will build a new version of the prototype using the same parts. I'm going to get to level three and let's take a little bit of speed boost. Let's see if I do not die. Okay, now so it's high, so the max speed should be around 29, 27, I think. And I think 27, 29 is like fast enough for me. I don't need to go 40. So let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm about 20 now, 22, 23, 24. And the curve, woo! Okay, I'm down to 19. And let's keep going, 21. Oh, I really don't want to fall now. 25. And that's about it. I'm not going, I'm not comfortable going faster today. Woo! Okay, I think we can stay around 20. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyone who thinks this is not, this is for lazy people, I mean, that's a whole leg workout right here just to stay in place, right? You, you need to have a lot of leg strength to actually hold your stance because you, you basically have someone pushing, like it's like having someone pushing on your toes, or, sorry, on your heels. And uh, it's really hard to stay on top of it. It's not as easy as you might believe. Anyway, I'm going to make another prototype uh, really soon and I will make, a, uh, make a, uh, videos about the whole process of building the next prototype and I want to um, actually make a new boot on that last year design that I presented to everyone. Okay, the self-lacing one, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for, try to contact the CNC milling uh, service to actually cut the steel for me so it can be like really well done uh, and a little stronger than this one, right? And hopefully lighter as well. I'm going to go for two motors instead of four. Uh, we, don't, we don't actually need four motors. New prototype, we'll, have, we'll, we'll go for a more traditional uh, double wall just like normal in landscapes and uh, and later I would try to build a whole boot as well but more like a strap on boot 
you know what I mean? Like, instead of having a full boot, you're going to use your own sneakers and a strap to your legs. And I'm trying my best to make it uh, comfortable and secure, like, so you don't have a lot of wiggle wiggle going on. So it's easier for more people to try because I'm using my own boots. And every time, like, oh, can I try it on? And, yeah, sure, you can try it, turn the blade on. And then, oh, my, my feet doesn't fit or it's too big. So I'm going to go for this kind of boots so everyone can try it on. It's easier, it's actually way more uh, practical. So moving around and I'll make more videos going around cities and subways, stuff like that as well. So you can expect a lot more from Thunderblade from now on. And although I'm not wearing it right now, right? Uh, would you guys be interested in helping Thunderblade by purchasing like um, t-shirts or hats or something like that? I can I can put a like on Amazon or something like that the design on those services that you put the design and then make the shirt and send to you guys. So you will be helping the project and getting a cool t-shirt. What do you guys think? So put in the comments if you would like this, if you would like to help by purchasing some merch. And anyway, can I really, really thankful for anyone that can help. Remember, I have my coffee for Thunderblade if you want to help directly with donations. And uh, thank you very much for everyone that is helping. It's, it's actually helping me a lot in all these struggling times. I didn't give up Thunderblade. I will not give up Thunderblade. I can, you can have my word, okay? And, and I think that's it for today. But stay tuned. I will start on tutorials and I'm gonna present the, I will present to you guys the t-shirt or the hat or whatever you guys actually think it it's, it's, would be fine. To, to put on, on some, somewhere online so you guys can actually help the, the channel and get some cool merch. And that's it for today. Thank you and remember, let's storm the streets.